Hey, what's up guys? I am on Sambawan Island, which is just off of Maripipi, which is that big volcano island right there. And over there is Biliron, which is the northernmost point of Leyte. I've been here for a few weeks. I'm spending the day here on Sambawan Island. I recently had a conversation with this nice guy from the UK, and we had this really big chat that seems to come up quite often with guys that are now living in the Philippines or have spent a lot of time here in the Philippines on how your life changes forever once you come here and you spend a significant amount of time. The thought of going back home to what I had before and what I would be up against in terms of cost of living, opportunity, lifestyle, dating and relationships, all of the things that people get excited to come here for, man, it just, it changes you forever and there's no going back. Let's get into it. So I'm chatting with my brother last night and he's just telling me how much he's struggling to, to get ahead and to feel like he has control of his life. And I'm sitting on the other end thinking, man, he makes pretty good money. Like he makes good money. He wants to come out here. Like he wants to come to the Philippines and I'm doing all these amazing things. And he's like, man, I don't have two pennies to rub together after all of my expenses. This is a common thing in the West. It has gotten so out of control as far as cost of living there. There seems to be this big change over the last several years in terms of just like overall quality of life, overall happiness, tension in the air. A lot of it is in the US, but other countries too you know, political stuff. And there's no wonder there's such a movement right now of people of all ages trying to find a way to get out of that situation. So I know a lot of you guys are at that age probably where you're just looking at retirement. Maybe you're right there or maybe you're a few years off and you're watching videos like this and others and you're getting excited about the possibility of actually having a retirement, which most people can't even afford to do if you don't leave the US or Canada or UK, whatever, because it's so damn expensive. And so the Philippines and other countries are becoming hotbeds for foreigners to come and either be a digital nomad and continue to work, work online or retire. And it feels like there's this sense of urgency right now to figure this out. There's a huge movement. I've noticed it just in the year and whatever, however many months that I've been here how many more people are coming here, how many more people are watching videos on this. And there's, that's a reason why I'm finding some success with YouTube is because there's a lot of interest in this kind of thing. So good timing for me. I like it. I like being here. I like talking about it. And I love the idea of helping people figure this stuff out and just talking about this stuff because I'm in the middle of it. Like I'm not retired and I'm trying to find a way to make this sustainable not just for living, but like somehow if I can grow this into a potential retirement thing. Because I, if I don't get this going, it's back to the US, back to working in nursing homes as an occupational therapist. So everyone's feeling this and trying to find a way. So guys my age are like, how can I work online? How can I do this? How can I come to the Philippines? Because when you get a taste of it, guys, it's, it is life changing. It is good in so many ways. So this guy from the UK that I was chatting with last night, he's like 60 something years old. He's staying here at the resort. He's waiting for his girlfriend who's in another town in Leyte. She's gonna come up here and live with him. And just talking about how this would never happen back home. For one, his girlfriend is 30 years old. He's been with her for several years now. He's like, you know what? My life back in the UK as an aging man, he's like the quality of life and the way people viewed me as I got older, just diminished year by year. Ageism is a real thing in the West, guys. You're just less appreciated, you're less valued, you're looked at in a way that you're, you're just not as important and you're not as capable. But when you come here to the Philippines, as he was saying, life just flips upside down and all of a sudden you're looked at as high value, you're looked at in high regard, you're looked at by younger, cuter girls you're looked at as someone that they desire to actually be with, to be with as a partner, a boyfriend, a husband. And when you look back to how life is back home and how hard it is to just meet anyone for a relationship, and you think about like how bad loneliness is for so many guys, and then to come here and all that just goes away because it's not hard to, it's not hard to just make friends here, first of all, 
and it's not hard to find girls that are interested in you. It might be hard to find someone that you want to marry, but just the fact that there's interest in you and you can have conversations and maybe you can go out you know, for dinners and get to know people, right away, all of those feelings that you had back home are gone. They're eliminated. You're now you're feeling great. Now you're excited. Now you're like, oh wow, now I gotta you know, play some options and figure out what's a good fit for me. I can actually you know, pick and choose someone that will be very compatible for me. It's crazy to think about. And all it takes is finding a way to come over here. And in his case, you know, he retired and he had enough money to come over here and make it happen. So, you know, guys are scrambling in some cases to, to find the solution to this, to come over to experience something like this guy's experiencing, how much happier he is here. And then not to mention the weather, he doesn't have to deal with the cold rain in the UK anymore. Um, he's living on a freaking island. He, right now he just lives in the resort. He's been there for like a month. I think he's gonna rent a house pretty soon for like 400 bucks a month or something for him and his girlfriend. It's crazy guys. It's wild when you think about it that way. And no wonder there's this big, big movement and sense of urgency for so many guys to figure this out of all ages. Because loneliness and struggling to find a partner, it doesn't just apply to older guys that are retired and you know sitting at home lonely. This applies to guys even in their 20s. I was reading an article not that long ago on the percentage of single guys in their 20s now is like through the roof compared to how it used to be. Loneliness applies to all ages and I know it applies to girls too, but I'm obviously a guy and you know relating to guys that are watching this. It's a crappy feeling, you know, to not only just feel lonely in the moment, but have a lack of hope about like what's in the future as far as you know meeting someone even making friends is hard to do you know once you get out of college and you kind of get into your careers people just get busy in their life and so people are searching for that as well all around lifestyle improvement is what people are looking for and so with that opportunity here to come here and all of a sudden be in the top echelon of income you know, if you can make that happen as a retired person or someone that's working, still working online, you come here with so many opportunities for lifestyle improvement, uh, relationship improvement. Like I'm sitting here on this beautiful island that really was a drop in the bucket as far as cost to hire a couple guys to take me over here on a boat, spending the whole day here. And I've been staying at a resort over on Maripipi across the way for next to nothing right on the water and I have a scooter that I bought that cost me next to nothing and I travel around and it's so affordable and it's like why would I even consider going back home if you can make this happen why would I go back and work in a nursing home with people that just complain and they don't want to do therapy <laughs> all right it's not all that bad I was grateful for that for that job and everyone I met it wasn't a terrible thing but this is like night and day as far as lifestyle improvement. The tough thing for me, of course, you know, family being far away, I'm gonna find a way to just obviously see them as much as I can for trips. Hopefully one day they can come out here and enjoy some of this as well. Man, half the time I'm riding around on my scooter looking at beauty, I'm thinking, man, I wish my bro was here. I wish my niece and nephew and sister-in-law and everyone, heck, whoever wants to come out as far as my family goes. Like, I'd love to be tour guide. Anyways, guys, this video is just about relating to you all talking about a subject that comes up a lot, coming here and never being able to switch this off. Expect that if you come here, but look at it as a good thing. Look at it if you do get a taste, you do come out here and you experience some of the stuff that I'm talking about. And if you don't have your you know, life figured out to be able to do this more often or permanently, use it as motivation to figure it out because it's not gonna get any easier in the West. It's only gonna get harder to retire. It's only gonna get harder to live and be, you know, live sustainably and like save. So the shift into a, a digital world as far as generating income or being close to retirement and just figuring out how you can pull this off and make this happen. I think it's a really wise thing to do. And I'm so grateful that I took a leap of faith and came back out here. Obviously your support is so appreciated. I can't even tell you like the fact that I have people watching my videos and, and thanking me for it and getting value from it. You know, the feeling of helping someone make a decision or pull something off that's life changing is, it feels good, man. It feels good. I want everyone to feel what I'm feeling and experience what I'm experiencing. Now to end the video, I want to, 
I want to throw out the balance as I always like to do and I'll make another video that sort of looks at the other side. It's not perfect over here. There's pros and cons to everywhere and you know there's challenges, there's things you have to get used to. People do um, tend to come here with expectations that don't always meet reality whether it be the dating side of things and finding uh, love here, finding a relationship here. Obviously I make a lot of videos talking about that, talking about both sides of it. So you really wanna know what you're getting into with that. You wanna know what you're getting into as far as like where you can live and what to expect as far as um, even things like internet and having crappy internet. Like if you are a digital nomad and you plan on working online, I mean I do YouTube and many others do and we figure it out, but there's often times where you just can't upload or you just don't have a good connection. You know, it's part of being in the Philippines. Anyways, guys, give me a shout out if you're, you know, at a point where you're not quite sure how to take the next step in terms of, uh, you know, coming here, where to go, uh, as far as meeting a Filipina. I have an email address in the description. You can send me an email if you want to do a one hour consultation kind of thing. Um, it would just be emailing me first and then talking about it and seeing if it's something that I feel I can really help you with. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep making videos and rolling along and enjoying life here in the Philippines. I really appreciate all of your support. Thanks for watching this one, guys. More to come soon. Take care.